Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Let's continue our series where we look at fantastic spotting positions, perhaps some broken, overpowered bushes that you can use on the different maps in the game. And today we're doing steps. You guys suggested steps in the comments section the last couple of videos. So we'll do stuff. You know, no one suggested Himmelsdorf or Ensk. <laughs> We're going to watch this uh, RU251 on the south spawn. We're going to watch a south spawn and a north spawn game. And before he moves into his typical, the standard overpowered push that exists on this map for the southern spawn, I'll just point out that the 1-2 line and the 9-0 line are very difficult to spot because you'll move up and you'll encounter the advance. There's usually an advance on the west side and the east side. Just remember there's an east side and a west side. Right? And if you move, I'll point at the minimap now, if you move up this uh, east side or this west side, it's more difficult. You'll encounter enemies. Uh, why not use this bush to get these initial spots? And look at the size of the bush that Wargaming has provided for the south spawn. You can sit anywhere in this bush. You can sit here with black guy blind shot. Usually people blind shoot near the rock. You can sit all the way out here. So you're hard to blind shoot because it's a large bush. There's the AMX. He spotted the AMX. Oh, take out the AMX. Boom. That is a big kill because there was only one light tank on the other side. The AMX was, I don't know if he fired his gun or what he did. He did something wrong and he paid for it. There's a whole line of bushes here that you can use. There's even these bushes here around the rock that either side can get to. Some people go there. Um, and uh, I'll say that high percentage chance, uh, the this guy's already done almost 4,000 spotting. The bush he's in is the best. Why? Because it's close to this gully so that you can relocate or escape. All right? And now he, be, he knows the AMX is dead, so why doesn't he move up and just carefully move into the enemy team's bush that Wargaming provided for the north spawn. Look how tiny this bush is. It's not balanced, right? If you spawn on the north side, your standard bush, and he's saying, please, please shoot him, please, team, shoot him. Why aren't they shooting him? Shoot, you muppets. I can't believe the team's not shooting. Look, there's, there's three TDs there. Why aren't they shooting? He's not behind a rock. He's, look, he's looking. Team! Only one of them shot. He got another 300 spotting assist there, but only one of them shot. That's hilarious. Look how small this bush is. And this poor AMX is dead. Because if you spawn on the other, on the north side, this is your, this is your bush that's kind of halfway up the map. Blind shoot this one, you're going to hit the guy blind shoot that one you're not necessarily i've had some monster games just on the tip right there of that bush in an elc and everyone's blind shooting here there's more bushes for the uh, south spawn uh, and in fact i've looked up the highest damage assist games in patch 1.19 because there's more games to choose from it was that patch was live for a long time there's hundreds of thousands of games Oh, he got spotted. He's got to get out of there. And uh, uh, the majority of the highest damage assist games are from the south spawn. Surprise! <laughs> now, there's a lot of other places to spot from. Now, you guys, please don't uh, uh, read into what I say. I'm not, I don't want this to be a, a, a pompous douchebag commentary. Obviously, the only bush that you should ever consider going to is the bush at F6 where you will easily do 4,224 spotting assists. There's obviously many bushes to choose from on this map. And in fact, there's so many to choose from that work because there's different lines of sight from different angles. There's not a lot of topography. So no matter where you spot from, uh, your team usually has some good shots on the majority of the map, except for the east side, the, the low gully there and the west side, the low gully. Right? But there's many different places to choose from uh, where you can spot, like this bush here. Why did he choose this bush? I'll tell you why. Because he's looking where his firepower is. His firepower is uh, up there and right here. And from this bush, 
he can spot the enemies. Any enemies that poke this and, and poke over here, he can spot them. He knows this because look at his white circle on the map. You see his white circle? It encompasses all these enemies here. When they shoot or move, he will spot them like this. And his teammates can shoot them, hopefully from safety. He doesn't need to move all the way up here. He doesn't need to move all the way over there. Okay? He's doing some fantastic spotting. And I've kind of mentioned this in, in quite a few of the uh, videos of this uh, series. The best spotting position you can choose passively like this is the one where you can detect the enemies and be the safest. And that's why at the beginning of the game, that initial bush he went to, even though there's a whole line of bush, look at the map, there's a whole line of bushes here by the rock. There's lots of options, but the position he went to, there was an escape route. And it's the easiest to stay safe. Where he is right now, he has not gone right up close to the enemies. He, he can see far, right? He can detect them out, out to the range of that white circle. So there's no reason to move closer. He's safer here. If he gets detected, he just pulls back. If he moves all the way to these, this bush right here, for example, he could move to that bush. What happens if he gets detected? He's dead. So you have to kind of make your mind up on the go, depending on the situation uh, uh, that's going on. Not, and not always will your teammates uh, agree with you or appreciate your efforts. This guy's done 6,588 spotting assists. In my opinion, he's in the perfect bush to detect the enemy. The enemies are winning. Or they think they're winning. They're actually losing by 4,000. But the enemies have moved up aggressively, especially on that flank right there. And uh, and they're moving into his snipers. And he's providing vision. What else do you want, right? He's providing the vision. And oh, he uh, a blind shot hit him but did not do any damage. The enemies are wondering, why are we detected? Why are we detected? Uh, his teammates are sitting in, uh, especially the guys right on the K-line, are sitting in camping, sniping positions, right? He would be foolish to move further up because he would be dead as soon as he got uh, detected. Another five spotting assist. But watch what happens in this game, okay, guys? It's going along. There, are, there will be some of his teammates that are going... Go, uh, Move forward! What's wrong with you? What are you doing, you stupid light tank? There will be some teammates that, uh, that feel that way. He could drive around here and try and poke there. Get detected and die. And he's saying in chat, no, be patient. While the, uh, uh, the VZ is pinging other points of the match. He's saying, no, be patient. Look, he's, he spotted those guys. He spotted these guys right here. He's saying, be patient to his teammates. And that's what we got to be. We got to be patient. No, the guy's pinging. The AMX is pinging. Attention F0. Affirmative, says the RU. I can spot F0. See, look, I've spotted him. Help, says the uh, uh, Georgette. He's saying, help. Go spot. They're actually, his teammates are actually getting mad at him now. <laughs> he can easily spot uh, any enemies that poked her. Now... As time goes on, if the enemies retreat, he'll make a move. Help, says the Conqueror. <laughs> Maybe the Conqueror is saying he's been uh, detected. I don't think so. And he's just being patient. This guy's done spotting before, okay? He's, he's played this like that. He's, now he's, cut, he's spotted the T-130. Defend, I will spot them pushing, he says in chat. Right, he spotted this guy. There's a T-54, guys. And his Super Conqueror is so furious, he shoots him. The Super Conqueror is so furious at his light tank. You stupid light tank! I will shoot you! The guy's done 6,775 spotting assists. Now, he has other options. He could move up the middle here to, to that uh, initial bush he was at. He could come around here and poke this uh, ridgeline, but he'll get detected. But he knows that there's a lot of Muppets that play this game that drive in the open like this. Right? And when a Muppet drives in the open, you can shoot him. You don't have to kill all of them in the first 10 freaking seconds. Like the game can last eight minutes, can't it? These people are furious. 
shooting his own light tank. Stupid player. We've been playing for... Uh, I'm looking at my watch. We've played for six and a half minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> Go play Barbies. Go play Mario Kart. Oh, look, guys. He spotted someone. It's just hilarious. I, I find it hilarious that uh, uh, the way uh, some players react. Obviously, the Super Conqueror has no idea how detection works in the game, and he doesn't understand that you can spot people even if you're not right beside them. And a light tank that moves right beside some enemies uh, tends to die. <laughs> so, you know, he's he's doing the best he can. He's just a he's a player, and he's doing the best he can. Give him a, a freaking break. And the super conqueror is dead. Serves you right, you stupid stu- the, the, This super conqueror, it serves him right. What are you doing poking the ridge line and showing your hull? And the super conqueror says, report the RU. <laughs> no, report you. I am spotting their advance, says the, uh, says Quinetic. Shout out to you, Quinetic. I had to show this game. Report the RU! <laughs> Kronetic says in chat, you played bad. What do you want? How would you report the RU? What would you say in your report? Uh, I wanted the RU to move into a different position and he didn't. So I, 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 I drove up on top of the hill and let the enemies kill me. Please report the RU. <laughs> the RU didn't sit in the open and get himself killed. You could have went somewhere else to be hauled down. <laughs> Look! The RU did another thousand spotting assist. <laughs> so this is the typical, uh, guys, the typical strategy is uh, he's very patient, okay? this is I'm showing you the extreme result here. This guy is very, very patient even now that they're winning 10-9. His teammates are wrapping around the uh, the the line uh, the west side here, but he's got another kill. I missed that. He killed the T54. Uh, he just knows that uh, he has 15 minutes. You know, he doesn't have to win the game in uh, 30 seconds, and he's rewarded with 8,474 spotting assist. And now he can start putting his gun in the game. He can aim this German gun for 28 seconds. <laughs> Uh, says some people, when you're playing light tanks, guys, uh, what what's the common theme in a lot of these videos that I'm showing is uh, to, there's no one correct bush. But, oh, he just drove it to take him out. Yeah. Uh, you have to use your brain. You have to look where your teammates are, where your firepower is, and put yourself in a, a spotting location where you can uh, spot and light the enemies but from safety somewhere where you can be safe so and he did that the whole game if he would have got counter detected he had um, a place to run away so absolutely perfect spotting uh, on display here and if you're playing the game and you're doing this kind of thing and your teammates start berating you and start insulting you in chat just ignore them don't even uh, don't even reply because you might get chat banned if you reply like piss off, Wargaming will actually chat ban you. Uh, don't even uh, converse with them, just uh, ignore them. They simply don't understand the game and uh, it, it doesn't matter anyways. They're not playing your tank, you can do whatever you want. Just do not, uh, do not converse with them. And there you go, he ends up with a little bit of damage for himself and 10,700 and two spotting assists. Not bad. Let's watch a game from the opposite spawn here, guys. And I gotta say, thank you very much, all of you who have subscribed recently, showing some appreciation for this uh, a series that I'm doing for you. I really appreciate it and thank you. And especially those who have uh, clicked the join button and become channel members recently. I appreciate that too. And I can tell, uh, everyone can tell who the channel members are because when they leave comments in the video, they have the little uh, close emotes by their comments. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. Let's watch this AMX who spawns from the opposite side and he's going to go to the standard bush which in my opinion uh, percentage wise, uh, safety wise uh, is probably one of the best uh, options. This bush and the bush that we saw the RU go to 
on the other side. But you notice this bush is a little smaller. <laughs> like my bush is smaller than your bush. <laughs> so being blind shot uh, is much more of a problem in this bush because you pretty much have to stay where this AMX 13105 is right now. You, you have to stay there. The bush isn't big enough for you to leave a gap. So, and, and let me point out that this gap here is not real. Uh, this bush is modeled as one bush by Wargaming. So even if you're in the middle there, there's no gap. I've done some testing and uh, maybe I didn't check all the angles, but I did it in a training room where I've just parked the tank kind of like in the middle here and had people just approach and you don't get detected. So I may not have tried all the different angles properly because sometimes, uh, you know, your viewport to detection marker on your tank has to line up. But I think that this bush is uh, is modeled as one rectangle. So you see him here, uh, he's, he's not detected even through the gap. The point is though, that the other spawn has a much longer line of bushes and you can sit right there. And so you can be fooled when you blind shoot the others. It's harder to hit a blind shot. Now he's fired his gun, he's gonna get detected because don't you see on the minimap? Ah, you made a mistake there. He thought maybe I won't get detected, but look at the map. There's a manticore. There's a manticore right here. The manticore is in the bush where the RU was. Right? The manticore is there. He's sitting there just like the RU did. And uh, he's probably working on his spotting assist game. Now, let's look at some other options on the map. Because there are lots of other options, right? There's bushes here. I see some people going to this bush beside this rock. Uh, the rock provides cover. Right? Uh, there's bushes beside this rock right here. So there's lots of other options. Okay, there's lots of other options. These are not the only two bushes uh, that you can go to on, on this map. But I thought I'd highlight these two because I think they're the, uh, the most uh, uh, high percentage. You usually get some good spotting assist from those bushes. Whereas the other ones, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And sometimes you get, if you get detected, you, you have a lot of trouble. And all you have to do is get detected once. If you move to this bush here, see the one by the rock here? There's a bush there and a rock. You scoot across here aggressively and you get in the bush. And you're, everything's good. And then a, a little while later, someone detects you from over here somewhere or wherever on an angle. And you get detected and you hide behind the rock. Well, now they know you're there. And you may want to run away. And if you want to run away, you have to drive through open ground. And there's some big TDs pointed ready to shoot because they know you're there, right? So it's more risk. Same with this bush here and that rock. Whereas these two that I'm highlighting, if you get spotted and you have to run away, boop, you drop into this low trench and you can safely run away. That's that's the whole point. That's why these are the two magic bushes, I call them. Uh, borderline overpowered bushes on, on this map. And now he look, he sees an E100. He's gonna have to react here. You're gonna have to, yeah, he sees the E100 and he can just scoot down in the low ground and run away. And as the E100 doesn't even notice him, but can he take a shot on the E100? Take a shot on the E100, because the E100 is a Muppet. He should have known that you were there. And he an, ends up with another couple of hundred spotting assists. And he tried to take a shot there, but he's got to go. You see how safely you can run away from that bush? You can't do that from some of the other bushes. So that's why they're... Uh, I guess the map is designed like this for that reason. There's another actually interesting bush. I'm not going to show you a game on it. But if you spawn on this side... And I'm pointing at the minimap now. And you go down on the 8-9 line and you follow this river. And you get to right around where the ST2 is right now. Right on that corner there, there's a bush. And uh, if you're a light tank, you could scoot there. And you can counter all the enemies that move down that line. I'm not going to show you. It's one dimensional. Because once you get there, you're there. All right? But to look where the S, this little point right there. I'm, gonna sh I'm pointing at the minimap. That little point right there. If you get in that bush undetected, you can perma-spot a lot of the enemies. And it's, it's very dependent on whether the enemies move there in force and whether your teammates uh, actually shoot because you could get stranded there. But that, that's kind of a, uh, a weird bush you can use. 
there's so many different ones now on this map. But w once the initial spotting happens, you just have to decide, well, where do I go? And uh, he's decided to go here and uh, miss. And miss again. Oh, I missed again. I missed again. Uh huh. He's losing. He's losing 8, 9, 10. He's done 5,000 spotting assists. The Manticore is still alive. The Manticore is still alive, guys. He moves to this push now. Another one of these multiple pushes near the... But this one's not on high enough ground. Okay, he's got to go help his... No, he, can he help his teammate? No, he can't. Where does he relocate to now? Let's look at the map. Where's your firepower? You've got the Grillet. The Grillet's retreating. Watch where he goes here. This one, uh, I think we'll learn something on this push here. You could say, well, he has to be aggressive. He has to go sit here or somewhere over, over here. But what's going to happen is the enemies will overrun him. Watch. He's going to try and get into this bush here. But remember, they got a manticore, right? And they're pushing down this line. And Okay, he's in the bush. Let's see how it goes. He's going to show us another amazing... Okay, he spotted the T-62A, eh? and he's detected, and he's going to take some hits. Why? Because the they got a manticore! <laughs> They've got a light tank, so it's not safe. He was tunnel vision trying... Okay, I'm going to uh, spot the T-62A, eh? but he did not appreciate that they still have a light tank. If the manticore was dead, fine. You always have to think about that. Does the enemy team still have a light tank? That's a huge uh, factor in where you decide to go. Now watch this. He's going to teach us something here. This, I don't know if he does this accidentally or whether he knows. What the hell is he doing behind the train? He's not positioned himself perfectly. But did you know that from, from this bush behind the train, you can spot through the train because there's a gap under the train. If he puts his ass right in that bush right there, he can actually spot under the train and do have some pretty good spotting assist when your firepower is back here. He's not doing it right. If he, he turn your tank around, put your ass end right in there so that your turret is as high as it goes, and then just sit there. You don't believe me, right? Watch. The grillet missed, of course, because it's a grillet. <laughs> Point two one aim. Did you know one of the reasons the grillet misses? I kind of uh, was playing the grillet lately, and the, the stupid thing. Did you know that the premium round uh, it has really good penetration? But th they must have nerfed it at one point. I didn't notice it. The premium round of the grillet. Uh, only travels at 900 uh, meters per second shell velocity. It loops in like a softball. If the enemies move at all, you you miss. That's one of the reasons the Grey is so frustrating. I, I'm looking at the shell velocity, and uh, it's terrible. These are some medium tanks with 13, 1400 meters per second shell velocity. They're way more accurate than the Grey. And there you go, guys. He got uh, almost 2,000 spotting assist. From the bush behind the train because you, <laughs> you could see you could see over the tracks from that bush he doesn't have to sit in the open up here somewhere you can hide behind the train and spot people <laughs> did you learn put up your hand if you learned something I'm learning something doing these videos and what I've learned consistently because uh, when I do, when I pick a map, I look at all the statistics, and I can tell you that from the uh, uh, the other spawn, there's more high uh, spotting assist games than from this spawn. This spawn's more difficult, probably because of the size of the bushes, of the initial bushes. All right, the other side just gets a bigger bush for that kind of overpowered first position. And now, why don't you make this guy pay for his? Uh, the stupidity of play, playing this uh, big heap of garbage that he's playing. Uh, so, so the other spawn gets more higher uh, damage assist games. More of them as a percentage. And the other thing I've noticed is typically the guys that get the, the monster games, uh, they're, paying, they're playing very, very... What's the word? 
they're spotting from as far as possible. They're keeping as much distance between them and the enemies as possible. They have maxed out, I shouldn't say that, they have really good view range and they're able to detect enemies right at the edge of the maximum detection range, which is the white circle, by having more view range that cuts into the concealment of the enemy. And they can detect them from far away and there's no need for them to put their tanks at risk. So they can detect them from far away uh, and that enables them. Oh, well, let's see if you can take them out. One more, one more, one more, one more. Wah, you got them. That enables them to live longer and play the game longer. They don't have to park uh, right beside the enemies. The, the, you don't see a lot of the uh, 10,000 spotting assist, you know, the 15,000 spotting assist, 9,000. You don't see uh, examples of that where the enemy light tank rushes to the front and parks right in the in enemy territory. You can see a guy do that and get uh, two, 3,000 spotting assist in the first 45 seconds to a minute, and then he's dead. So I, I've looked through them. I've done the, kind of the, the work of just skimming through the top uh, games and you don't you don't see that the only times you see that and I'm not uh, highlighting those games is when a clown uh, a clown car an EBR drives around at 100 kilometers an hour and drives right through the enemies <laughs> and nobody hits them and if they do they just <laughs> they repair and they keep going yeah there's a couple of examples of uh, you know the EBR having some amazing spotting games on every map <laughs> But it's not uh, statistically relevant. It's just uh, it, there's a clown in the game, and he's driving around like a clown, and uh, that's an anomaly. Okay, so we're not focusing on that. Uh, for the consistent, consistent, high, high percentage results, uh, this is what I see: spot from as far as possible as you can. Keep your tank safe. Put yourself in between the enemies. And the firepower on your team. Don't go spot the flank where none of your teammates are. If none of your teammates go to the one, two, three line, don't go spot there. They can't shoot there. Okay, those are the simple. What I just said, simple rules. He ends up with patrol duty, of course, does 3,000 damage himself, a little bit more, and 7,322 spotting assist fantastic game thanks for watching guys leave some comments let me know what you think of the series whether you're enjoying it subscribe to the channel if you are and uh what uh, maps would you like me to review next i'll catch you guys on the next one